Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, neurologist from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the book Focused Neurology. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com. Today we are going to talk about a very very interesting topic, the overview of nystagmus but particularly the seesaw nystagmus. The seesaw nystagmus wherein one eye moves up, the other eye moves down and then again this side now the eye moves up, the other eye moves down. So this is known as seesaw nystagmus. Very interesting, very fascinating but very challenging to understand. But with a simplified diagram we can understand the mechanism of seesaw nystagmus. Right. Now over to the overview of nystagmus. Nystagmus. Overview of nystagmus. We have upbeat nystagmus, downbeat nystagmus. Upbeat nystagmus. The characteristics upbeating nystagmus in primary case. The location is cerebellar vermis or medulla and the conditions giving rise to this are cerebellar and medullary lesions. The downbeat nystagmus, downbeating nystagmus in primary position, the location is cervicomedullary junction and the conditions are arnold chiari malformations. We have another interesting nystagmus, the convergence retraction nystagmus. Convergence retraction nystagmus, the characteristics are convergence and or simultaneous retraction of the globes back into the orbits. We see in rostral midbrain or posterior commissure lesions and in conditions like penilioma. But what is the mechanism? Why is there convergence and why is there retraction? We need to understand one important law known as Sherrington's law of reciprocal innervation. According to this law, when agonist contracts, antagonists have to relax. For example, if I need to look to the right side, my right lateral rectus should contract and left medial rectus should, the right lateral rectus should contract and right medial rectus should get inhibited so that the eye goes laterally towards the right side. Sherrington's law of reciprocal innervations. But according to Herring's law of equal and dual innervation, the yoke muscles get equal innervation. So the right lateral rectus and left medial rectus move together. So eyes goes to one side. But then, in a supranuclear lesion like in Perinot syndrome, there is simultaneous action, the simultaneous activation of agonist and antagonist. So both the medial recti may fire together, both the superior rectus and inferior recti may fire together. So in the both the medial recti fire together, there is convergence. When both the superior rectus and inferior rectus fire together, there is retraction. There is no divergence because the sixth nerve is normal, the lateral rectus is normal, the lesion being in the top of the midbrain like penileoma or dorsal midbrain syndrome, but pons is intact and therefore there is no problem with the divergence. There is convergence because there is a supranuclear simultaneous action activation of both medial recti causing convergence, like a supranuclear stimulation of simultaneous activation of both superior recti and inferior recti causing retraction. So this is the convergence retraction nystagmus. Then we have a rebound nystagmus wherein the characteristic feature is a horizontal nystagmus that briefly beats in opposite directions on return to the primary position. We see it in cerebellar or cerebellar connections. The conditions are cerebellar lesions and multiple sclerosis. We have another type of nystagmus known as periodic alternating nystagmus, horizontal nystagmus that beats in one direction for one to three minutes, pauses then beats in the other direction cycling continuously known as seen in location brainstem or cerebellum the conditions being spinocerebellar degeneration then we have another interesting nystagmus known as bruns nystagmus wherein there is large and coarse in one direction fine in the opposite direction large and coarse in one direction fine in the opposite direction we characteristically see this in cerebellopontine angle location the condition being cerebellopontine angle tumor but the fascinating nystagmus of all these types is the seesaw nystagmus wherein the one eye superior rectus and superior oblique goes up the other eye inferior rectus inferior oblique goes down 
superior to superior oblique goes up in torques the other eye comes downwards x torques then it changes this side now goes superior to superior oblique inferior to inferior oblique so this is known as seesaw nystagmus the characteristic is pendular nystagmus one eye raises and in torques the other eye falls and x torques sometimes associated with bitemporal hemianopsia the location is optic chiasma region optic chiasm region and paracerular regions the tumors especially craniopharyngeoma you see this in in mesencephalic thalamic regions and optic chiasm region but what is this mechanism for uh, the seesaw nystagmus to that we need to understand this uh, diagram here you can see this the vestibular apparatus utricle the pathway goes to the opposite side ascends in the me medial longitudinal fasciculus connects the fourth nerve nucleus and the third nerve nucleus so here we have superior rectus inferior rectus and inferior oblique but we all know that the superior rectus gets innervation from the opposite third nerve nucleus so the third nerve nucleus supplies the superior rectus on the opposite side whereas it supplies the inferior rectus and inferior oblique on the same side likewise we all know that the superior oblique gets innervation from the opposite fourth nerve nucleus so fourth nerve supplies superior oblique on the opposite direction so when this vestibular apparatus when this autolith apparatus is stimulated the eye will go upwards superior rectus and superior oblique on the same side and the other eye goes downwards inferior oblique and uh, inferior rectus and inferior oblique on the opposite side so when this apparatus is stimulated the autolith apparatus is stimulated superior rectus and superior oblique on the same side so raises the in torques inferior rectus and inferior oblique on the opposite side ex torques but when there is a paracellular lesion optic chiasm lesion this region becomes unstable and therefore it it stimulates sometimes it inhibits sometimes so when it stimulates superior rectus superior oblique one side inferior rectus inferior oblique on the opposite side when in when it inhibits superior rectus this time superior oblique on the opposite side and inferior rectus inferior oblique on the same side when it stimulates it goes up and down up on one side same side of stimulation and the other eye goes down when it gets inhibited this eye goes up and this eye goes downwards so you can see nice seesaw nystagmus going one eye up the other eye down then after some time this eye goes up this eye the other eye goes downwards so this is known as seesaw nystagmus seen in optic chiasm lesion or paracellular lesions that means in this region where it becomes unstable sometimes stimulating this pathway and sometimes inhibiting this pathway so when it gets stimulated it goes like this when it gets inhibited it goes like this this is known as seesaw nystagmus it is because of the dysfunction of the autolith uh, pathways seen in the lesions of the optic chiasm mesencephalic thalamic lesions because of its instability unstable nature causing stimulation and inhibition of this pathway and therefore one eye goes up the other eye goes down and then after some time the other eye goes up this eye goes downwards producing the characteristic seesaw nystagmus seen in optic chiasm lesions so so beautiful is this explanation so with a simplified diagram we can understand the reason for this seesaw nystagmus so we have seen an overview of all types of nystagmus including the most challenging and fascinating seesaw nystagmus seen in paracellular lesions and mesencephalic thalamic lesions i hope you have enjoyed this video as much as i have enjoyed delivering it uh, the other important concepts of neurology i put in a book called focus neurology written by me dr s srinivas this book is available online from all leading booksellers including amazon so if interested this book could be bought online from amazon uh, these concepts on overview of nystagmus and seesaw nystagmus i hope you have really enjoyed it as much as i have enjoyed delivering it if you have enjoyed it please like share the video but do like and subscribe my youtube channel dr sinwas medical concepts and my page every page dr sinwas concepts thank you bye